This is how a barber vacations. Still bring my clippers. Look at this. All this product. I wouldn't recommend you bringing your stuff with you on vacation, but it's a little different here. Like I have friends, stuff like that, a bunch of people I know here. So occasionally I'll cut hair. And for me, it's no big deal because I love what I do and I have a passion for it. But I know a lot of people when they go on vacation, they just want to completely disconnect from everything work related. But me, I love it so much. So it's really hard and it doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like I'm doing myself a disservice. Let's get back to the vacation. Here in Florida, but look at the weather. Horrible, horrible weather. It's raining, You're supposed to be going out in the boat, but yeah. So what am I left to do?
just got back from the beach and boy was that fun. But the fun doesn't stop there. You see what's behind me right there. Let's let's jump in. Oh, this is crazy, mother. And now, time for the giveaway. Let me find the video. This one right here. Let's copy the URL. Got the random comment picker. Paste. All right, you know I gotta let this play because your man I do it needs the watch time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if y'all watching these videos all the way to the end, it helps the channel. URL is inserted. Now let's get comments. Start the raffle. Bam. Drum roll, please. All right, Ligeth Yagami, he's the winner. All right, let me find his comment here. Where is this guy? Up oh, there he is, right, where is he? Right there, Ligeth Yagami. Now, if you guys pay close attention, this giveaway is for US only. With a name like Ligeth, I think he may not be in the US. But we're gonna reply to him and let's see what happens in five days. And this is what happens when you're on vacation as a barber. <laughs> you, you still get referrals. So you saw in that last haircut, he saw his haircut and what'd you say? I asked him who cut his hair. And now he's here. So he's about to get blessed. You see him? <laughs> now you see him, just, just wait for it. It's coming. Mission complete, guys. Look at that. Boom, boom. Got him in there. Sexy time. He's ready for action. Damn. Now I can get back to my vacation. Well, look who I found while I was here in Florida. Who knew Mr. Eddie Barber had a shop here in Panama City? Are you franchising? Many of you don't know, Chris Bosio and myself has a YouTube barber death match. Loser shuts down his YouTube channel. So I'm gonna head over to the boxing gym, try and get a little bit of training in. My back's a little bit sore right now. Doctor to say I need a backyotomy. We'll see how this goes. Right here is where many people have bent the knee. Let's go inside here and see who's, what's going on. That epic place, y'all. Where it goes down. Some serious. So what you're seeing here is scenes from Hurricane Michael that devastated Panama City 10 months ago. Everything you see here is from 10 months ago. That right there was a bingo hall. Keyword was complete de devastation. This hurricane was supposed to hit Panama City Beach where I was. However, it skipped over it and hit Panama City is which is part of what you're seeing here. This trees here is what you see uh it's just near an air force base it's in between the panama city on my way to mexico beach before the hurricane you could not see that deep you couldn't even see past the first tree line look at those trees there it looked like tom poe just came through and kicked everything down he had a field day but complete devastation just look at those trees just like i said you could not even see back that far you could probably see maybe 20 feet into the woods that's it but now you can clearly see back it's crazy the amount of devastation that that hurricane caused and that's a hangar uh aircraft hangar on the air force base now we're in mexico beach and look at this i mean like you want a beachfront property they say H house by the lake they say house by the water house by the ocean they say <sighs> look at this this Look, you, you can see the washer and dryer up there at the top. This man, we just saw so much of this. And keep in mind, this is 10 months later. Look, you see there, there's campers with people staying on their property after the hurricane because they don't want to lose their property or they don't have anything else. So they're just staying in the camper. Maybe they just got the insurance money and bought a camper and just stayed on their property instead of rebuilding their property it, it, it's just crazy this right here is military housing 
on the Air Force Base and it's all closed down. All of the military housing on this portion that you see here is all closed down. Right here, these are some apartments. These are the apartments I've lived in when I first moved to Florida. They got shut down, all of them, crazy. And now you see just different houses. You see again, look, these people are living in the camper in their front yard of their own damn house. Crazy, man. More damage, more devastation, just stuff all jacked up. I mean, if you were to look closely there, you could see an insurance adjuster talking to some people, but it's just crazy, man. Absolutely bananas. And this was an old barber shop connected to like a tire shop or a mechanic shop, but you see what happened to them. Crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Random sequence of the vlog. That person, Liggeth, what, whatever his last name is, did not reply, so I gotta pick another winner. Put the URL in. Got all the comments. Let me scroll up. Let's pick a winner. All right, B Flo the Barber, you're the winner. And he's in Texas, so who knows? Maybe he can come pick up this product from me locally. Well, back to reality. I'm back in the shop. This probably looks more familiar. So yes, of course, vacation's over. But let me talk about my vacation shortly, shall we? I had tons of plans, tons of plans to get some good content for you guys. So plan number one, I plan on going to see my man Mike the Idiot, maybe shoot a haircut tutorial with him, maybe shoot some MMA content with him, crash and burn. Two, I was meeting up with the cowboy barber, Ben Taylor, not sure if you guys know him, He's on Instagram. He actually has a YouTube channel. I think it's called The Cowboy Barber. I was supposed to meet up with him, do a podcast with him, do a haircut tutorial with him, and he was gonna be featured in the vlog. So it was gonna be a, a week full of Ben Taylor, AKA The Cowboy Barber. Boom, failed in my face. Three, I was supposed to meet up with my man, Miles McNasty, break dancer extraordinaire, b-boy extraordinaire, all that stuff, and get a little workout in. You know, learn some moves. Yeah, that, that didn't happen either. Uh, and of course, I was supposed to try and work out, do some MMA training, do some boxing training, but my back didn't allow me. Nevertheless, I still had fun on vacation. You didn't get to see some of the things I did, but overall, the main objective was to be on the beach, to be in the water, and I did that. So, for that, I'm grateful. 